Hey guys, welcome back. I never thought I would be talking about zombies and things like this on the channel here, but uh, yeah. Um, well, anyways, you, you know, with everything, all the talk about carbon footprints and all this that's going on and all the restrictions and you got, uh, like, uh, the Ford company losing millions of dollars uh, going bankrupt because they're forced to make electric cars when uh, there's not enough ways to charge said electric cars. And they're losing out on multiple million dollars. And... Then you then you go and you find out about these pipelines, carbon monoxide pipelines. It's because yeah, they they need uh, these these pipelines go across the United States in various areas. Um, they need the carbon dioxide because of getting rid of the fossil fuel industry. So these companies are planning these big pipelines. Um, I'm trying to figure ways to expl explain this a little bit easier, but um, when you start putting a lot of restrictions on, you know, gasoline, oil, and, and that stuff, uh, coal uh, um, you have to replace it with something and one of the things is carbon monoxide uh, to do various things well let's read this the fossil fuel industry has plans to construct vast networks of carbon monoxide pipelines spanning tens of thousand miles across the United, United States. Uh, despite leaks all over uh, the past several years, including one that sent nearly 50 people in a Mississippi town to the hospital with zombie-like symptoms. Uh, yeah, and when when you say zombie-like symptoms, uh, you can guess, you can guess what kind of symptoms we're talking about. Uh, there was a lot of, you know, this stuff, but there was a lot of that stuff, <laughs> Anyways, this stuff leaks, and there's, at this point, there seems to be no regulation on it. Uh, the federal tax, federal tax incentives under Biden <laughs> uh, are driving the the pipeline projects which aim to capture and store carbon emissions from power plants, according to uh, the Exxon News reports. The U.S. is nearly... The U.S. has a relatively small network of carbon dioxide pipelines totaling about 5,000 5, miles and primary located in the Midwest and Gulf Coast regions because that's where they unload this stuff. But to transport just 15% of the country's greenhouse gas emissions, the Department of Energy uh, and financial industries 
projects, up to 96,000 miles of new pipeline may be required. Um, enough to cross the continental U.S. 32 times coast to coast. 32 times back and forth. So chances are you'll be close to one of these pipelines. Um, <laughs> yeah. Imagine all these leaks causing people to run around like zombies. Not only do you have to look out for these people that are high on things, um, bad people, uh, illegals. Now you have to watch out for the zombies. <laughs> um, all because of this, you know, the clean air thing. I'm all for the clean air thing, but... <clears throat> We, we need a set of scientists that are not biased to Democrat or Republican. Um, so many times you'll, you'll have Democrat uh, scientists and then you'll have Republican scientists. And they contradict each other all the time. How do you get a, a clear message on what is good and what is bad for you. <clears throat> you need somebody that is for the world, for the people, not just, you know, who votes to who votes um, or they pick sides or anything. And they, ch they, they can see the numbers right there in front of them, but they forget the numbers and they go to their, their, their sides and that's the issue here. <clears throat> now, if you look at the actual numbers, uh, back when there was no industry, no people, for that matter, just dinosaurs, our, our carbon uh, footprint, the world's carbon footprint, was much higher Um so how how do you explain that? That's that's the thing that gets me. But I do know there 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 is a lot of pollution and stuff like this. But big biz, business is always going to make that buck. And if it's not putting a bunch of stuff in the air or putting a bunch of stuff in the water. They'll put it in the pipeline and let it leak all over the place. <laughs> it basically what we're getting at here. <clears throat> so, is the 2020 thing where we always had to wear a mask on our face? Um, is that going to be something like in the near future where we have to use? Um, a respirator to breathe. Uh, there, there are movies out there that show where the pollution has got so bad. Although stuff like this, I mean, which air quality is worse? I don't know. It's it's up for the debate, and that's where come to you guys and let you decide. Uh, what do you guys think about this? Um, <laughs> Thirty-two times back and forth, coast to coast. That's you know, east coast to west coast, back and forth, thirty-two times. How is it that that? there's not going to be a pipeline by you and will it be leaking with that said watch out for them zombies god bless <laughs>